What is going on mortals? Mortal T here. And today we have got some really good news about Sea of Thieves. Yes, they finally added some new stuff. Now if you don't know already, in May they did promise to bring out some new content. As you can see on screen, that is like the roadmap of the content. And this is what's happening in May. This is the hungering deep that they have got planned. And we've also got weekly events. <clears throat> but that hasn't been released yet. But we have got some news. They did release some stuff on the 1st of May. And I've got some information. I've got the patch notes and everything. But this is what they tweeted over on Twitter. Uh, after the update, servers are back online. The patch brings seven new clothing sets, four new ship customization sets, multiple bug, fi bug fixes, and more. You can also purchase the special Eye of Reach for one gold to celebrate being on the sea for a month. For a month. They've been on for a month, and there's still loads that they're going to put out, but they've given us some new customization options, which is really, really cool. So let's go over and let's just basically just take a look at, at the patch notes because that's where we are we're at the patch notes let's just get into it so ahoy pirates <clears throat> we read your feedback on the customization mega feeds and in other parts of the community about the limited variety of available options to dress and customize your pirates this week's patch delivers the first wave of cosmetics into shops and in the form of expanding sets for the Admiral, Build Rat, Sea Dog, and Sovereign. Alongside new customization variations, uh, you'll find the shop stock varies from outpost to outpost depending on the region you're in. Don't worry, you can pick up the new Build Rat gear in all regions, but you'll have to head to the ancient isles to pick up the new sovereign sect so there you go they've just basically explained it they've expanded some of the cosmetics which is really really nice we've got some more information don't worry instortion notes these these are the sizes for all the updates if you didn't know already but here we go region stock shopkeepers in different regions now only stock certain item sets uh, Makes sense. I think it makes sense. Strike a pose. We've expanded our clothing range to include Executive Admiral, Grand Admiral, uh, Rotten Build Rat, Castaway Build Rat, Crosshair Sea Dog, Ruffian Sea Dog, and Imperial Sovereign. Whoa, they got some. They got some big words in there. Anyway, ship shape. Multiple sets of ship customization have been added to the ship right stock you can now purchase an equipped grand admiral castaway build rat ruffian sea dog and the imperium sovereign uh, sovereign ship customization sets oh yeah oh shiny visit the weapon shop at many outposts to find their stock of grand admiral castaway build rat uh, Ruffian Sea Dark and Imperial Sovereign weapons. Fancy a new weapon style? We're sure one of these will take your fancy. So right there they've said what they've added. New clothing to equip your pirate with. Loads of different options. Uh, more Admiral stuff. More uh, Build Rats. More Sea Dogs. More Sovereign sets. And also sit Ship customizations as well this is us all cosmetics at the moment but just listen this was all released on the 1st of May this is what they happened on the third at the very beginning of the month I cannot wait to see what happens from the rest of the month but let's scroll down and take a look at this fancy weapon here we go look at that that looks really really cool and innovative and creative it's just so so cool so here we go launch crew Eye of Reach. In celebration of being on the seas for a month, we've added a special weapon to the store. This limited edition item will only be available for two weeks, so grab yours while you still can at the very reasonable price of one gold. <clears throat> Now this is not unheard of, they did add something at, when the game was first released, they added an eye patch with a red number one on it, which you could purchase for one gold, uh, 
just for the release. So they've done another special thing for the one month anniversary, which is very, very nice. I will definitely go and buy it because that looks pretty darn cool. Um, but what other updates have they got? They've got they've done a lot by the looks of it. <clears throat> Players are no longer invulnerable during the parts of the tutorial when first launching the game. Uh, this should resolve confusion around the players. Uh, blah 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 blah. I haven't really played the tutorial. I don't really need to. Just gone into it. Right, skeleton uh, skeletons accuracy. When shooting cannons from an island at long distances, skeleton actuary uh, accuracy sorry has been reduced. Thank God. Holy Jesus, that is really really good because on island skeleton can shoot for. All like miles and still hit your ship and it gets really annoying anyway merchant voyages here we go it is no longer possible to f to force merchant voyages to request a delivery to a specific outpost uh, now you'll have to earn your cheddar the hard way now this was a kind of a a glitch that you could do people called it um what was it I forgot what they called it now. They called it something. Noah's Ark. They called it Noah's Ark, where you could get a bunch of chicken and snake crates, go out and capture them, then force a merchant to only go to one location. So you could sell them all anyway. I'd, I'd never did it. I just That's all I know about it. <clears throat> right. Sneaky climbing. The bell on the small ship has been moved to the other side of the ladder to avoid accidental ringing. Didn't know that was a thing. <coughs> We've redecorating with the ammo box. If you didn't know already, the ammo box has been moved, which is really nice. And the bell. What are we moving next? Mm, so they've got some ideas, obviously. Now they've just got a load of fixes. And I mean a lot. I'm not going to be able to read them all out, but as you can see, you've got some PC here. <clears throat> you got inaccurate company icons will no longer display for a split second. If trying to get reputation from two different trading companies, uh, joining a dead player whose ship uh, is parked at an uh, active school fort will no longer prevent the joining player radius from being open. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Recent player list will no longer be delayed when updating players from other crews. I have noticed that. I'm glad. I, I hope that is fixed. Hunted of the cursed crews and hunted of the school fort recommendations now track. I noticed that as well. I'm glad they fixed that. A voyage inventory message is no longer translated when there are no voyages in the inventory. Uh, loot items can no longer be dropped behind the captain's table on the small ship when trying to place them down on the table. Ship roads now cast shadows on the deck. Musical instruments can now be used immediately after interacting with parts of the ship. Uh, the PC have got one as well. And resolved an issue which could cause players to fail to migrate or remain on a low priority service. Now they've got, they've got a few of performance improvements. Uh, you can just read them there. Frame rate lock options are significant reduction uh, time to take them to, uh, from the recovery of the dam. That's really nice as well. Images of all, cast, uh, all chests now load gracefully when browsing. Multiple server fixes. And these are all the known issues that they know about. That they are getting on. Some players cannot see their downloadable content in game. Players may experience details that they're pirates, such as clothing, blah, 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 that they cannot see yet. Players are experiencing delayed achievements and recommendations in the game. Actually, that's always been a big thing about Sea of Thieves. The achievements never pop up straight away. You have to give them a minute or two, and they will pop up eventually. They still know about the issue. They are still working on it, so they do pop up straight away. But there you have it, models. That is all the stuff in the a new update. And to be fair, just for the 1st of May, and we've got a lot of stuff to come during this, during this May period, the Hungering Deep is a new massive content 
uh, patch that is coming in May. I've already done a video on that, so if you haven't already, please go and check it out. It is on my channel, and while you are on my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell, um, because I will be keeping you updated with all the information on CFEs as it comes out, and plus of gameplays that I'll be playing as well. I've got some really good gameplays coming up about legends and everything. Um, but there you have it, models. I'm just so excited that there is new stuff to buy. I've been waiting. I've been actually saving up for all this new stuff. I'm going to go and check it out, and um, I'm going to see what I'm going to buy. Then maybe in one of my videos, you'll see the new stuff, models. But I hope you guys are really excited for all this new stuff and all the stuff that is yet to come in May. I know I am. Um, so go and play to your heart's content, go and get all that money and go and buy all the new stuff, mortals. But that is it, I hope you enjoyed.